that year. In 2003, Paul Haggis wrote, but did not direct the Best Picture winner, Million Dollar Baby. He did, however, write and direct the film that won the following year. What's going on guys? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. For today's video, we've got something really different. Today we're going to be talking about an extremely viral app called HQ Trivia and how my friend Jonah was able to win. Stay tuned. And we're back! <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know what HQ Trivia is, Jonah, go ahead and explain what it is. Alright, so it's basically an app you get on your phone, you make an account, and then you... No, 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 you make the account, then you use the referral code SKECKLES. Nope. Nope. Jonah. No, 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 no. S-K-E-C-K-L-E-S. Capital B. S. We're gonna put the one you should use on the screen right there. Hey. Hey, this is unfair. He edits them. Alright, so tell me a little bit more about the app. Every day at 3 and 9, you log on and it will start a trivia show, basically. It's basically a game show that you can all participate in. The first two are pretty easy, but they increase in difficulty. And if you win, they split $2,000 with exactly. all of the winners. In the game that Jonah was able to win, um, I'm going to play a clip from that right here. Following year, we yeah! So what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk about a few of the strategies, specifically Jonah, since he's the one who won. I didn't actually win yet. Scoot over, <laughs> Jonah. It's not over here, okay, over there. I got yeah, it. I got it. All right. Don't worry. What's the first tip? And we're back! The first tip is surround yourself with smart people, and specifically people from different generations. Yes, and that is key, because a lot of questions will be ones that, like, us... Andrew and I, we wouldn't know at wouldn't all. Know. Good to have like parents, grandparents, anybody you can get that's just generations above you, even if they're just 10 years older than you, because they'll have some knowledge that you want. Yeah. And there will definitely be some questions that you just won't know. Mm -hmm. Tip number two, use multiple devices. This one is one that I personally like to use, but essentially if you have iPads, iPhones, old iPhones, any sort of device that can download an app, Android phones can now use it as well. Make sure you use those devices. Now you might be wondering, how are you able to sign in with an iPad because that iPad doesn't have a phone number. Well, the way you can actually do that is you can download an app called TextNow or any other free texting app, and those applications will actually give you a phone number that works in HQ Trivia. So you can use those phone numbers from those apps, and then you can effectively sign into as many iPads or iPhones as you want, even if those iPhones don't have SIM cards. And that is a good segue into tip number three, which is get extra lives. The reason that Joan and I were arguing about whose promo code you should use in the beginning of this video is because whenever someone uses your referral code, by the way, mine is Skeckles, S-K-E-C-K-L-E-S. Jonah A. Barnes. Whenever... J-O-N-A-H. <laughs> B A R. The B and the J are capitalized. <laughs> Thank you very much. Whenever someone uses your referral code, you get an extra life. You can use one extra life per game. So if I'm on question seven, I get it wrong, then I can still move on to question eight because I had an extra life. Without an extra life, Jonah wouldn't have won. So it's definitely worth it. Tip number four have someone on Google. We play with somebody on a laptop and they are really fast at typing. Yep. It's actually his brother. My brother. They'll Thanks. say the question, you get to see it. You probably have like five seconds left or less right. to do it. So you have to have somebody who can type fast, but definitely that one gets so many right. And right. there's some keys to doing that. You have to kind of be selective about which one you decide to Google. Right. So if you know one isn't it, then you just pick one, Google it, find out if it is it or isn't it. And, and then, then that will give on. you the information you need right. to decide which one's the correct answer. And then the last tip, which is tip five, and this is just to wait for the answer. So essentially what that means is just whenever we're Googling, sometimes what happened to me is I would click an answer too soon, and then later on we'd find the answer, like a few seconds later they find the actual answer through Google. And because you can't switch answers on HQ, if you click an answer, that's the one you're going with, then I would get it wrong. So you just want to wait to click your answer until you're absolutely sure or until you're almost out of time. And one more bonus tip we've got for you guys is a glitch that is actually built into the game to get you a free life. What you have to do is you just slide up on your phone with two fingers and if you just keep sliding up 
over and over again, then eventually you will get a free life. Alright guys, so those are our five tips for winning HQ trivia from a winner himself actually, and to be honest, I'd say these probably increase your chances of winning by at least 50%. Obviously, you're still unlikely to win because of just the sheer amount of people who play. But if you put these to use, you'd really do increase your chances by a lot. By and a lot. you can make For real sure. money. The other night, it was only like three people won and they each got over $600. So you can definitely make real money. And it's a really fun game. You should definitely try it out.